Hi there, I am Flight Control and I would like to introduce to you this functionality related to cargo handling for DCS World. This is more specifically related to cargo handling for airplanes. So in this video I'm going to show you how airplanes can transport cargo over the battlefield. For demonstration, let's explain this mission first. So you got a couple of transport airplanes that are being um, located to depart at Gudauta. Yeah? And you see these vehicles here, which will be you know, loaded in the respective transport airplanes when the transport airplane is, uh, has arrived at the airport again. So what they will do is they will fly off, they will circle, they will land again and then once landed the vehicles will board those airplanes. Once those vehicles are boarded then the airplanes will take off and will fly towards Sochi. We'll land there, we'll deploy the vehicles at the airbase and we'll fly off again towards this airbase to reload the remaining vehicles because those transport helicopters cannot load all of those vehicles in one go. So let's show how this is working. Right, so I got a couple of transport airplanes landing. This is an ice big one. The other ones are still circling. So this one is taxiing towards the vehicles. This one has just landed and the other ones are still circling and will arrive very soon. So let me show you now what's happening. Shutdown of the engines. And there you go. Vehicles are being boarded as we speak. The sequence of boarding, I mean the path that these vehicles are following, still need to be optimized. I can do this, but it will require some more work to make those vehicles drive safely over the airport. As you can see, um, there are other airplanes arriving. So when the airplane restarts, it will you know, need to be respawned in order to take off again at the airbase. And that's why I lost focus on that one. Another funny thing is that those two uh, soldiers are remained at the airbase after respawn but um, in the bottom line is that you got this airplane right far away which is taking off again with those two vehicles in in its base and you got this other one here which is boarding you got a big airplane now arriving and do be careful with this kind of stuff because it may disturb your airbase operations. You know, when one vehicle crashes, your whole airbase will uh, will stop functioning. And uh, that's why the airbase cleanup would be really uh, useful to have. And I hope that this ad will, you know, release this uh, functionality again whenever they have time to do this. So. This really brings you a very dynamic airbase operations activity, I would say. There you go. So that one is loaded. So now all these airplanes have landed. They weren't really taking off when, you know, when another airplane was taxiing on the runway, but now they can. And they will just fly in batch towards Sochi. This airplane will shut down its engines. And there you go. Here the cargo is loaded. Unloaded, excuse me. So you got two vehicles here which are unloaded. The other one is still taxiing. Yeah. I lost focus again. 
So this one will take off when it can, starting up its engines, but the other ones are landing. And this shows you a bit of dynamic battlefield. So now this one is unloading. Once the engines have shut down, there you go. We only loaded one vehicle. The other ones are arriving as well. Right, so this is concludes the demonstration. I hope you liked it um, and see you next time where I will explain how to use this stuff. Bye bye.